I love these old widow's, widow's peaks. We've got a house or two in Ontonagon with those. Look at these homes, guys. Holy buckets. They just don't do it like this anymore. This would be the First Baptist Church. With some fine background rap music. The South is definitely the place of covered porches. I love it. Rocking chairs and covered porches. So I uh, came across a, a fellow that paints houses around here, so uh, what were you saying about the decoration day? Oh, there's a place a couple blocks from here called 12 Gables. It has 12 of those tower type things you pointed out here. Which would be one of those. I was calling them Widow's Peaks, but you called them like uh, dog houses. A dog house or a dormer or a gable. Okay. It's called 12 Gables. And that is where the National Holiday Decoration Day originated with uh, the women after the Civil War, the local ladies got together to celebrate and honor the fallen on both sides. Of the Civil War? The Civil War, okay. both sides. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, that all started right here. <laughs> out of you know, the good nature of the women. Yeah. Recognizing the sacrifices of uh, both sides. Yeah, brothers fighting brothers, you know. And, yeah. yeah, terrible. Having a, a, a country divided like that, terrible. Absolutely. That's interesting. It, would there be anything else that you, um, are, are you from Columbus? No, I'm from Indiana. Okay. Actually, but then uh, 10 years down in New Orleans. That's an interesting town too. Yes, it is. <laughs> I haven't been there yet, but I want to. <laughs> no, to I'm, eventually I will, yeah, yeah. sooner yeah. than later. Yeah, it's a wonderful place. <laughs> um, you must be careful though. Oh, I'm sure it's, yeah. I've seen some videos of people doing it, their own little tours. <laughs> right. Well, thank you very much. What, can I get your name? Oh, uh, Matt Dennison. Matt, good to meet you. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. I'll let okay. you get back to work. Thanks. You just can't get away from that nose, can you? Hey guys, I got a real treat for you this time. So meet Fred. Hello, how are y'all today? 
Fred lives here in Columbus, and he has been living on the Tin Tom Waterway, if I'm not, or the Tin, tin Tom, Tom Bigby. Tom Bigby River yep. back then. Yep, since you were just a kid. Right, right. And now he, he runs this little antique shop, and he also is a curator for one of those mansions that I took a picture of or took some video of today. I will I will put that in here so you know which one. It's the big one with the scaffolding. So you were saying, you were telling me about this over here. Right, there used to be a garment plant at the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. Most of the people that worked at the garment plant lived down in this area, and this was called Burns Bottom. Uh -huh. and the reason it was called Burns Bottom, I don't know if you can see the flag right there, but beyond that flag and that clump of trees, you see it now, that's the lead to fall, was the Burns Mansion, Burns Family Mansion. Mm -hmm. So this was a general store built back in 1902. They had several of these general stores. Uh, this is the last one standing mm -hmm. uh, in this area. You say it was a general store. I'm just making sure people can hear you. So yeah. it's, it was a general store. There was a couple of them in the area at the time, like yes. when you were a kid. Yeah. And so most of the folks that worked at the garment plant would trade here at, at the general stores. Uh, they were actually the backbone of the community. Because if you ever were running a little short on money, uh, they would always allow you credit. In fact. You can see on the walls of the building there places where they just wrote the name on the wall, what they bought, how much they owe. Could you show me that? Yeah, yeah. It's really cold today, folks. That's why we're kind of bundled up. Yeah, That's why Fred has his hoodie on. And <laughs> it's it, it's not only cold, but it's windy. Yeah, we got a northern wind. Of course, you know all about that when you're traveling down the river. Yeah, I try to get away from this. This is a, th he's got quality stuff in here. A lot of antique shops, you know, are so good, but this one's, he's really vetted a lot of the right, stuff. There's some right there. Oh, okay. So these are, these are the folks that had credit at the general store. Yeah, there's a big one right off the top, that little switch. See right there. You got enough, of, there you go, that light's showing good. And here's, yeah, you guys can see those names. Wow. And they would just write their names down when they this needed some credit. Wall. See, this right here, that's the flute for the, an old coal stove that was here. So you had your coal stove here. The coal is still in the back, see? There's the chimney. Mm -hmm. So I imagine, you know, they would just gather around the stove and somebody would come in and want some blue cheese or maybe some grain for their cows and they just... Write it on the wall, and uh, you come back and pay them. And then this is interesting too. Here, this is not a photograph, good. Uh, this is where the, they did most of their storage. And the reason that they put the shelving up so high is because that is how high the water would get. It would flood two or three times a year. No kidding. Yeah, see the shelving there. And we cut some of the shelving out. So what they do is they just let the put stuff up on the shelf, let the water come in, let the water come out, wash it out, and be right back in business. Washing your floors? Yeah, so flooding <laughs> was uh, just something that you just tolerated during, uh, during the high water time. Yeah. Of course, now with the 10-time waterway, uh, we don't have any high water problems. You know, when I came through uh, on the Ohio River, it turns into the... Kentucky Lake, it's uh, Paducah, yeah. and they have that's a, like a walled city because occasionally that will flood, yeah. and they have these massive walls. It looks like a fortress. Yeah, I just can't believe it. Wow. Anything else you'd like to show us, Fred? Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, we need to talk about the hitch rod a little, uh, a little bit more. Take a picture of that because that is uh, pretty interesting. This Liberty Bell. Great piece. Yeah, neat. It says, uh, let's see, it says. They're still in business. No kidding, where? Um, Hillsboro, 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 Ohio, or Hillsboro. This is the name of the bell company. O C E O. Yeah, neat. 
I've got the cradle and everything if y'all want to come down and take it home with you. Yeah, well, $1, maybe $1, that's all. Maybe someone will see this and 1200 okay. And then this uh, gravity tank, is uh, gravity pump is pretty rare. This is uh, for gas, is that correct? Mm -hmm. An old gas pump? Mm -hmm. you, you, you'd have your tank in the ground, you pump it up, fill up the globe, and then the gravity would fill up, you'd fill up whatever you wanted to, and those are the gallons up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, neat. You're in us, and you're cold. <laughs> okay, so that used to be the hip lot. And I tell all the, the kids that come that that was uh, the first Facebook. Because <laughs> that's where you come down and get all the information that you needed about what was going on downtown, how the crops were doing. And in the 1930s, cars took over downtown. So the horses and wagons and mules, they all moved down here. And it came a, a really great spot talk your horses, find out what's going on, and head to town. Well, this is our new soccer complex. Mm -hmm. What is the name of this little creek that goes alongside of it here? Moore's Creek. Moore's Creek. Yeah, that comes out just, see, just above where you're docked. Yeah. Okay, well that is... Oh, one more interesting thing. Yeah. Our, our local historian, we're, we're fighting know to keep this building here and for it not to be torn down to make more parking for the soccer complex so he made a statement that I thought was interesting he said there are more people that are interested in this building and the history of the building than there are in the antebellum homes we are just right up the hill mm -hmm. because most everybody has uh, identified with uh, an old journal store when they were kids, or, mm -hmm. and now too, they're such great buildings. Such really great buildings. Yeah! Wow! So neat. Well, thank you very much, Fred, for telling yeah. us some of that history, and thank you for your time. You're welcome. We're glad to have you in Columbus, and stay as long as you like. <laughs> we're in a friendly city. Yeah, I can tell. It's a very livable city. Fred uh, informed me that the dock that the Shanty Beagles parked on, I could stay there till spring if I wanted to. <laughs> so I, I was a little worried, but now I'm, I'm not. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Fred. Bye.